should be live now yeah 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 okay well happy thursday we're back with more ace attorney literally the one thing that i stream every week so far it was either that happy thursday happy thursday it was either that or i i show secrets projects but you know, I decided, maybe secrets later, if I'm still feeling like streaming, then we could do secrets after. But I do want to get through the plot of Ace Attorney. I'll keep you in the background though, that's fine. Thank you for dropping by Terry, I hope you're doing well. All right, so we're going to be playing more Ace Attorney. Shh, quiet that down. More Ace Attorney today. Justice for all. Hope you're doing well. I am. I've just been incredibly lazy. Um, I woke up, laid in bed for two hours because I am a professional at laying in bed. And then got up eight still did nothing i don't even remember what i was watching i watched two episodes of miraculous ladybug season four i think it was episode 18 and 19 going oh yeah this is what was going on these episodes that i haven't watched yet then after that i was going to start working and that didn't happen i decided to procrastinate by giving butterball a bath doing kind of like a physical on him, which I'm kind of concerned about him. Let's be real, he is getting older, and it's starting to show, I think, but I'm... I, I need to just watch him again for the next few days. I told my sister while I'm gone that she should just, she should just keep an eye on him. We kind of have like a new baseline for him, which is sort of sad, but he's hanging in there. Um, and then I still didn't want to do my work, so I just cleaned my bathroom. Then I watched Pengu play Mahjong Soul. Thought to myself, I kind of miss playing Mahjong Soul. I've been thinking about it, like, on and off for the past few weeks, but I still haven't touched it. And now we're here, which uh, clearly I just do not want to do my work. <laughs> That's okay though. All right, let's um, let's get on over here. 
see if this will pop up. Nice. Very nice. Exactly what I needed. Hello. Just saying hi before bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for dropping by, for saying hello. I always appreciate it. I think my brain isn't wanting to comprehend Mahjong Soul yet. It's it's fun. I think it's fun. I The only things I know is on this cheat sheet that Riku gave me. And it's literally... I don't even think about the numbers or how they line up. Because I honestly rely so much on the game to, to tell me whether or not I have Yaku or not. And then... I just match tiles to whatever is on that cheat sheet. Like the pictures, I just I just match. <laughs> but I I was telling Pingu, I peaked. I peaked at Mahjong Soul. When I was in the airport playing ranked games for fun because there was nothing else to do. And I was looking at my 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 deck and thinking to myself, huh, I could actually do 13 orphans if I really wanted to then totally obliterated this one guy. I felt bad. I think it was like some Japanese player too, and he's he's he gives me like that shocked emoji. And I also make the shocked emoji because I'm like, well, didn't think we'd get here, but here we are. I'm still so proud of it. A little part of me is like, I don't think I'll ever touch that account again because I don't ever want to get rid of those 13 orphans. But then Honestly, I don't think I'll ever get a better hand than that on ranked. So I don't know. I'm just I'm just amazingly proud of that one moment of my life and then I never touched the game ever again. That's not true though. I did go back maybe sometime last year cuz I wanted to see if I could get like an all honors or all terminals sort of hand. But that one was actually harder. It feels harder to do all terminals or all honors. So, yeah, that, didn't, that, that one didn't happen. Anyway, where were we? Let's talk about Ease Attorney now. <laughs> we are in the second case, trying to get Maya out of jail again. Because, she, of course, she landed herself in jail. We have proven that she was actually hiding. Sure, the guy got stabbed and shot, but she was also shot at and potentially hiding. But we still have no proof at the fact that she, of the fact that, you know, she was the only one in the room. We have no proof that it could be anybody else. So, yeah, I'm, I'm curious how this is going to go. Because honestly, I do not remember. It's been long enough that I don't remember what happens in this game. Ooh, that was a close one. I know you were giving it all, giving it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. Death penalty? What? Uh oh, hold up. I'm like all tangled up. Let me move things around real quick. Okay, wait, no. I have literally tangled up. I'm playing with a controller. There we go. Alright, that's better. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. You make me sound like a terrible person, Pearly. Thanks. Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Oh, I guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose if you lose me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Maya? I need water. My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. 
June 21st, 1143. Rava, 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 rava. Court will now reconvene. Now the first order of... Oh! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my wife, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Your name and occupation, please. Hey, Phoenix! How you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. Alza! Name and occupation. I declare. What in tarnation? Hey, Judge. This here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine! That's a fine! That's a whip! Oh! There is no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about the murder on the day... Wait, about what happened on the day of the murder? I haven't even gone to say my name and job yet! The name's Lotta Hart. Paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. Now, now, let's all be one big, happy family, okay? Yeah. Witnesses account. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, and the bang, we hear this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke down the door, and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Hmm. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking course. Uh, excuse me? Wrecking course? It's short for your reckon? Of course I did. Oh! Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show the picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Uh, let's see here. This here is the picture. Hmm. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in the room. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? We'll clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. All right, cross-examination time. Okay, yes. Bang, we hear the gun gunshot. So the lawyer there broke down the room. We rushed into the room. The dead victim. The, the uh, defendant waving a pistol around so other than who no other else, no one else was in the room. Mm -mm. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Ugh. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it sounded like that of a gunshot. Why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world just became a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, you know? And I heard, uh, and I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now this, this is where the story heats up. Rushed into the room. All right, nothing there. Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Fay? Sure, I'm sure. Lana seems awfully confident. Lana, please think back to the day one more time. What? What you getting at? Remember what you said when you broke into the room? What did she say? I don't actually remember. I was murdered. Like, Lotta at a time like this? This gal, is she Maya? Is she? When you saw the murder, er. 
You couldn't even tell if it was my affair or not, am I correct? Uh, uh, well, you see. Order, Miss Hart. You are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, sorry. Nice. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Fay, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya. Hmm, it looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. Exactly. Right, so again, I'm trapped. You tried, Phoenix. Are you absolutely certain? Sure I am. But that old witch chased us out of the room, so... Oh, witch? Does she mean Oregon Faye? There was no one else in there, and you know it. It was very dark and was pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? Ooh. Behind the folding screen. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Red given? Huh? What in the... Red given? You know, you reckon? That's a given. It took me a good look. I took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way it was anyone was hanging out behind the folding screen. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What, what? You got a problem? Right given. I mean, I am having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop. Now then, Mr. Phoenix. Right. Do you see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Her story adds up. What's worse, I was there at the scene of the crime. Her story is exactly how I would have told it, too. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. Uh oh. Enough. It seems there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. The face of the defendant. Oh, the face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would be. It would have to be the defendant. What am I gonna do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. Can I save? Oh! Thank god. Yoink. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in that photo? Oh, good heavens. I don't know. <laughs> how, how can I... How can I prove that's not her? Yeah, honestly, how can I prove that's not her? Her sleeve? Yeah, evidence, yeah. Okay, look, there's like a hole. Maybe I could use that? Look at the portrait. She's only 18? Dang, she's been at this for five years already. So, I don't know if, if this will count, because I mean... I don't think we can uh, show anything yet. Let's just try that. Can't present anything yet. Oh, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. 
I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough? Oh, okay. So, that's dead end. The defense... Oh, good lord, you're giving me jump scares, Mia. <laughs> Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Oh. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? Y but P Pearl? Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. You really remember what you told me yesterday. Dr. Gray! He's dead! I was Mordored. What? Like... Lana at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping. You see, there is one final piece to this puzzle. Yeah? Question Lana one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. This court would like to end the cross-examination. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any- It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. A Von Korma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But I, uh, I, I mean, I have, I have somewhere to go. Uh, hmm. All right, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, hey, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us one more, t once more. What happened when you burst into the channeling ta chamber? Okay, you got it. See, you just. Got through the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. Lotta tends to withhold the truth a lot. Oh, she was so annoying in the first game. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a good shot. And take a shot. Can we have the picture, please? Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. I don't know what type of accent I want to give her. All I could focus on is Maya. So, what she looked like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. A different person? She may have seemed like a different person, however, she was still Maya Fey. She already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that's true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you uh, see anything else? Did you happen to see anything else? I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't get to take a good look at it. Then perhaps that body was not Mr. Gray's at all, or Dr. Gray's. Well, I reckon that's possible. If the body inside that room was not of Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if it was like Maya Bay after the channel, baby? Oh! Foolish fools spouting foolish foolishness is just as I expected of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Bay is in fact dead. Make the defense chair quite a lonely place, would it? Would it? It. La la la. Are you all done here? Can I continue? She needs a dictionary to have something other than full. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. Aren't you a paranormal psychologist? Oh, sorry, photographer? That's why I'm here getting out of the business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars of you, tabloid photographer, from now on. She goes through jobs faster than the baby goes to diapers. Ugh! Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? 
profile, would it? Mr. Wright? It's tag team in stereo, because I should be grateful it's not in 5.1. But I still managed to point my camera and take a shot. Give me the- give me the good. Give me the goods. Two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. This heart. Where's the other picture you have been hold withholding? Give No, no, no. You got it all wrong. It's not me. I, I didn't mean it bad. I, I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? This prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? Von Karma! How dare you? Miss Von Karma, you... You're... You're hiding critical evidence! Unforgivable Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this, you're as bad as your... as your father. Your Honor, the defense asks that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Hmm, well, yeah, oh. Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But you hid, ev you hid evidence for the court on purpose. That's, that's, that's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ugh, I'm so angry I lost my composure. Miss on Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it, that's all. How could you think? Pictures are more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than it's worth? How, how can you say that? I want to see it that badly. I'll submit it. Yeah, 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 give it. Oh, girly looks way different. <laughs> Who's that? What is... what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Amateur. Um, I think the important part here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not my affair. What we've been saying. What is the meaning of this? might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya? Insist it's not Maya. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in this picture is not Maya Fey. Yes, I can see that. It's not just her face. Her whole body has taken on a different com appearance. There's only one conclusion that could be drawn then. But somehow, this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. Rabba, rabba, rabba. Well, yes, I believe you're correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not my F.A. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Who was saying that picture was Maya? Von Karma was! This girly, good heavens. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. Uh, uh, uh. She's smiling. I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Hi, Effie. Welcome, welcome. We're in the middle of a court case. It's heat. It's heated. Heated court case right now. Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Where'd you get this picture? This was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor to visitor's room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and defendant Maya Fay during his visit. Is this allowed? Nobody approved of this. Maya Fay, but isn't this a totally different person? She got that low angle. No, what she put in there? <laughs> she looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. It's unbelievable that she can. Yet, it is the truth. When Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. 
This one, Karmer. Karmer. Karmer! A word, if I may. Mia, yeah. taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely, you must know that the picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal. But I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been bur forever burned into the judge's mind. I, I don't have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this, but I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person... This person is the defendant, Maya Fay? If I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it'll cost me. Is there any way- oh. Yeah, brother. You can prove it. Easy. Your honor. Look. There is a critical contradiction. Oh yeah. So, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange? Um... Hey, where's the bullet hole? Please direct your attention here. To, to the sleeve? But but there's nothing on, anything odd about it. And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there. Oh, oh. There was a bullet hole in the, in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. Read. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Uh huh. Yeah. Miss Von Karma, you—you you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence. You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. All right. This should do some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You really like to bring the mood down, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Oh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Jumping the gun again, I see. Your Honor! I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? What incompetent fool? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to this case. Mm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it! That woman knew everything, the bullet hole, the picture, everything! But you can't prove that. Francisca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you do not need to worry. You need not worry, actually. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure the detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion. Poor Gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by the strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all the- load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. I got this. Your Honor. There is only one logical explanation for the contradiction. The shooter someone else. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. Wh what If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial! Oh! Ah! Oh, why me? The defense's... The defense's argument is a complete mess! A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please, enlighten us! Hey, witness! Oh! What the heck? Is that any way to ask a girl a favor? Be quiet, you! 
You were the one who said it was only two of them when you entered the room! Well, you know... If you were lying... Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Von Karma. If you were lying, I swear that my wit will be the last thing you see! Look, sis. You're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you... Oh! I swear I wasn't lying or nothing! There wasn't anything else in there, or anyone else in there, honest! You see? Now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Where did the defendant vanish to? Where did this other woman appear from? <clears throat> Why is it lately all I want to do is cry? It's okay, Phoenix, me too. Well, if the person in the picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right! Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? Ah, thank you for the... the raid, Pengu. How was it? How was... how was... Jong? Jong Games? Welcome, welcome. We are playing Ace Attorney and getting whipped on all sides by this young, pleasant lady who's yelling at me far too much. <laughs> I think I know why Phoenix became a hobo. He had to deal with these people. Oh, one day, guys, we're gonna play it. We're gonna play it where y'all will see Hobo Phoenix. Once we finish, once we finish the trilogy, we're, we're, we're gonna have to play Apollo Justice. Oh, Apollo Justice is where my heart's at. Thank you. Ace Attorney is peak. I need to get around playing the past the first game. Yeah, we're actually in the second game right now, so if you're worried about spoilers, might wanna not watch. But if you don't mind, then cool. It's it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pleasant with huge quotation marks. <laughs> Come on, Phoenix, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright! I can't believe that even Maya's call it, or Mia's calling me by my name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? I have nothing. Nothing. This is exactly how you, you get through all of your games, Phoenix, with nothing. <laughs> we'll lurk muted. Have a good stream. Okay, thank you. Or do you, oh, or do you think you have enough in you to turn th things around even now? Turn things around. That's right. Mia would always just turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if, before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true... Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I've come up with nothing, actually. Hold up, let me save. Because <laughs> I don't know what logic jump that Phoenix is going to do from here. Uh... Uh... I think what happened before we first started into the channeling chamber is something I can't explain yet third person had entered it, Maya had left the room? Nah, something I can't explain yet. I'm sorry, but I simply can't. Y you see? And the reason is quite simple, because there is no explanation. That's why. Hmm, as I thought, another big waste of Tuggard's time. Phoenix, you can't, can't just give up like that. But Mia, rethink things one more time. There has to be an explanation. I'm already perfect, so of course my conclusions are also perfect. Oh, 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 they could have just let me. Okay, Maya had left the room. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can pro prove how. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya Fay was being looked after by her aunt Morgan Fay. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than the detective's salary. Oh, gumshoe. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Evidence. Prove that the further murderer until the time of arrest, the defendant had left the room. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love this this song though. It's so hype, but right now I'm like anxiety. <laughs> I feel like... How would she leave? It's gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh energy? Yeah. <laughs> um... How would she have left? How would she have left? I feel like somebody just clocked her and then dragged her underneath. I don't even know how you would prove this. Hold up. Screw it, just throw this out here. Oh, oh. Prove that from the murder. Murder until the time of the defendant had left the room? How? How? Oh. <laughs> Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, I unlocked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. The key is the only one of a- the only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? <gasps> Wait. Mr. Phoenix Wright? Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Oh! Whale, ain't that a kick? So, how come you're holding it? I was the killer. <laughs> I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Th th that's preposterous. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No! Eat it, Francisca. Eat it. It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma. How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case! How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix, right? I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. All right. Wow. That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt like I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Uh, yeah. It's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm. Nick, I know you're trying really hard and all, but... I really don't ever remember leaving that room. And I don't think that a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah... 
Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ugh, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A, a ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. Needs to leave the village. Nice. Yeah. 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 Cool. Next. Let's go. Wait, I want to eat my snack real quick. Celebratory lemon cake. Mm-mm-mm. Yummy. If Mrs. Maya didn't kill that nice man... She definitely didn't. Yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um... Not murder a person? Ugh. Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. Come on, Pearly. What, what, what is on your mind? What's going on? So, what did you think of seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. Oh. And Mystic Maya looks so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so... And then, that snobby woman with the roughly clothes! Roughly? Oh, she means Francisca. She had such a bad attitude. She acted like she already had decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm gonna tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. <laughs> That's cute. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer, a prosecutor, so her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. That's terrible. But she's a really good prosecutor with a heart on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Well, he might eventually become a good guy. Eventually. He? Oh. He? Uh, who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgeworth? That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. Oh, that's too bad. By the way, Yes? What is it? <clears throat> you wouldn't happen to any know, uh, know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Just when did she pick this up? Eyeballs? Hey, Pearly. I just realized that I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Pearls, where were you, and what were you doing when the murder happened? Uh... What, what was I doing? I, um, I, I wasn't doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me, I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Oh. Uh... Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Uh-oh. <laughs> Pearls? What'd you do? Oh, well, let's, let's move around. It's really empty. Training was supposed to be held today, but I guess it's over already. 
I don't think there's anything here. Looks like there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. You broke this again. Maybe. It's not very interesting. Anybody here? Oh, look, the thing's still there. I guess I'll leave them alone for now. Can you look at this, Phoenix? Keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. It looks like a box for storing clothes, which is pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Hmm. Excuse me. Who am I talking to? There's someone here. Small alcove. Wooden bear. Interesting. Looks like Morgan's- looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? It looks like she's talking to a picture. Hey, she ain't right. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Misty. What in the- Who's there? Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Um, just curious, but that picture you were looking at. Oh, today was that event. It was an awkward, sir. I heard you did well. Mm, oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. I had previous engagement, as I had to watch over the trainee's training today. I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. Well, because the master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why a lowly branch family member such as myself must do this. Have you remembered anything about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were we in this room the whole time when Lada and I went out to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. I performed the, sp the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterwards. You said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did, however, that is all that occurred. I was really hoping for some new info. I suppose nothing happened in the good end, good sir. Sorry to have laid up your hopes. Could you possibly be more patronizing? So, do the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off. The day of the murder, of course, however. I assume both my own pearls went through this training. Mr. Wright! Um, uh, <clears throat> yes, yes. Wow, she got really scary, really fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Sorry, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really a pain in the butt about this. Please remember to watch out. Watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. So the master is, uh, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling a certain spirit. And after that, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village in any case. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, I see. And that is four years from now for her. And when that happens, a new master will be appointed to Korean village. And Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this murder, I'm afraid. 
I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself a second there. Hmm. What'd you think of this? Oh, crap. This! This... this is the key to this room. That's right. But why do you have it, good sir? That, I'm not telling. Return it at once! I... I can't. It's... it's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to murder. What is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... Hmm... I can't describe it. What do you think of this? That is Mystic Maya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame. I never thought anything like this would happen to her. But we don't know that it was Maya that did it. Oh, poor Mystic Maya. Do you ever listen to anyone other than yourself? You can tell me about this. That is Mystic Maya before I applied the spirit severing technique. This picture, I was taken without my express permission. I knew allowing a person like her from the Heartland into our country was a bad idea. You never realize that the Heartland is part of this country, right? No. Okay, so she says the same for both. Okay. Okay. There are six parts of the Korean sacred writings. To think that this valued treasure of a village and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's... Even if it was something that occurred during a channeling, it is an unforgivable act. But you weren't there today. How did you... Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Hey, pearls. What's wrong with you? What are you hiding from me? She slipped. She had to. Pearl? You had to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um, what if I can't just tell you what happened? Then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? What? You can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Yes. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? Here? Oh, good heavens. That's right. I take psychic damage every time. <laughs> you were... Here? Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me save. Because <laughs> I don't know. Actually. Alright. Alright. Try that again. Murder was taking place, you were here. In the winding way? Wow, you, you got it! So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Man, oh man, alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know that much? Well, I'm a lawyer, you know? I have eyes in the back of my head. Now what was it that Pearls was doing in the winding way? She was... No idea, actually. No idea what you were doing there. I wish I knew. You had this? I feel a little better. You're a lawyer, but you're still just a person after all. What? What were you doing? I don't think I have it. Oh, wait. Let's go... A 
This case has had me out of the office most of the time. I can come back tomorrow. Helping Mai should be my top priority. I guess there's nothing. Does this thing slide? No, it doesn't. Maya, do you have anything for me? No. Alright. Well, well, well. Nothing on the other side. What was she doing here? Anything new here? That incinerator. Right. But there's nothing here to be... She was here in the winding way. But... How am I supposed to... Prove that something was happening here? Ready to this. That urn super suspect? I know! Like, why does it look like that? <laughs> I, I don't know how I can link it. Because we don't have anything... Because, okay, the, 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 an the question was what was she doing in the winding way, right? But I don't have... You know what, maybe I need to talk to her some more, I guess. Let's see if there's anything here. 100 ways to save money. Okay, nothing there. Once in a lifetime. And nothing. Okay. Alright, Pearly. Let me just present a bunch of things to you. See if you have any say about these. What about this key, Pearls? You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where did you find- Oh! Maybe this will do it. It's very important, so please tell me, Pearls. Where did you find this? Um, I found it in the incinerator. The incinerator? Hmm. And she's talking about the one in the garden. The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling, when everyone was in panic. Hmm. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you gonna tell my mother? Huh? You mean tell Morgan what you did? Yeah. If she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Oh, uh, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then, alright? Hmm, the incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next. Okay. Maybe that's all I needed. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Magically, there's something there! Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Ooh, looks like they noticed me. And now they're running at me towards top speed. Oh, hey. <sighs> like, you're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. Oh, like, real suave. So it's like, my turn. It's nice to see you too. So what's up? You're all out of breath. Like, huh? Oh, like, you mean... Like, I'm just totally happy and, like, totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there's so many things to, like, see. It's like the real deal here. Oh, really? For example? For example, like, that urn over there? Do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Alright, Innie. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? I am. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like this village's treasure. She got the shuffle going? Oh yeah. Huh? Did I know that? And, like, it's sealed inside that urn. Um, it's? What, what are you talking about? Like, you know. Amy? Ami? Amy? Amy Faye's spirit. Amy Faye? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith, get with the program. 
Everyone knows that lady that founded the Korean channeling technique was Mystic Amy. Um, you don't have to get upset with me. So like, as long as the spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Fae family is stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic, huh? If that urn is really as important as she says, it could be a vital clue. Any, I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's, remember? As if there's another one. Oh, that one. Like, you should have said so in the first place. So, like, I totally didn't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not too much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on, what a total bore. I like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah, you only introduced Dr. Gray to Korean Village, no relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister who died in that accident was a nurse at his clinic. Tell me more about that. All right then, why don't you tell me about the, your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to, like, do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. C Cyclox? Like, what is it? Oh, what is it? Looks like I'm gonna need something to pry her mouth open on this one. Ugh, that's a nasty way to put it. Hey, what's going on here? Why were you doing that, huh? That's right. Pearl said she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside myself. Th this is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. Alright, let's take a look at this urn. So there's a spirit in this urn, huh? Hmm. All I see is a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks? Looks like something is written on it. I am? Huh? Weird. There we go. Deuces. Pearls, baby. We gotta talk. Did you do something to this? So with these, it kind of starts from the top, which is sort of annoying, but whatever. You are here! You... were fixing this up! So? That wasn't it? <gasps> Pearls, you're gonna kill me! You're gonna give me psychic damage! Were you burning this up? Oh my god, girly. What were you doing there? I thought I had the answer. I was all confident. What... What was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? What were you doing there? Okay. I thought- I thought for sure it was this. But it wasn't. Maybe the key? I feel like I did the key earlier, didn't I? I'm gonna die. Pearl is making me dance! Pearly! What is going on here, girly? I thought I had this! Now you, you actually have me out getting a run for my money! Pearly! <laughs> huh? Whatever. Why are you saving? Because I'll die! I thought you were loading? I don't think- I 
I don't think I have everything with this one. I'd have to start all over again, so I'll just take three. Um, because I don't want to go through all the talking again. Man. Harley, what were you doing? <laughs> oh. Hey, actually... You. What's what's going on with I'm I'm gonna throw people under the bus. What's what's up with this? Wait, you have nothing to say about that? What about this? No? This? Nothing. Oh, Wait. It's one of those things, like, you have to do it in a certain order, I feel. Hey, Pearly. You know about this. Never mind. She knows nothing. What about this? Oh. <laughs> what about this? No? Okay. This? That's Mystic Maya's. Shouldn't have shown her something so violent. Is that blood? Um, it's nothing, really. Just forget your facade, okay? You can't show stuff like this to a child. You absolutely can! What about this? I think I've seen this knife before. Really? Where? M my kitchen. Oh, that's right. I'll skin and cut up some apples for you later, Mr. Nick. Okay, thanks. Take the gun. Early. Take the gun and shoot me. What about this? Oh shoot, wait. I'm an idiot. That's right, it just... <laughs> it just triggers this. I forgot. No, no, I don't know what you were doing. I can only answer the first part of this question. But I have... I'm stumped, I'm not sure. Can you tell me about this? So, you like things about spirit channeling too. The Korean full series are on it. I was just written on it. There's six lines to the sacred writings. Cleanse thy soul, open the door to the spiritual realm beyond. Converse with the departed, cast on thy self protection, maintain the spell, release the spell. Well, that's super. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to go back. Ah! Pretty examined that, right? Okay. Meditation room. Korean village. Maybe the detention center? Hey, Nick, I've been waiting. She looks so helpless. So? So? How was it? What did you find out? Uh, well, I found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look me in the eye? I just need a little more time. It's all coming together by tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is just cause trouble. So how was, so how was it, today's trial, I mean? You were fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Don't be silly. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're gonna win this, Maya. Thanks a lot, really. Hey, Nick? The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Um, I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. 
Hmm, that's exactly what Lotta said too. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What did she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it, wait, then... Then... I really am... You are not the real murderer. I think that... Maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Gray. That's... That's... I want to ask you something about Pearls. Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Ooh, wait, Nick, you don't think she did it, do you? No, no, nothing like that. She'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never! She's a great kid, and really cute, and really great, and really cute. I don't really think she's a murderer. But she's definitely hiding something. Hmm? You were with her on that day, right? Yeah, the two of us. We were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. Ball. So, about this ball. It's nothing really special, it's just a plain old ball. I think she was playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball, huh? When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah, Pearly's always hiding in there. You know that side room? There's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. The clothing box is the side room, huh? Hey, um... You know anything about this? That's Karen's sacred urn. The Sigami's soul is sealed inside of it. Yeah, I know about it. Uh, about how she's the founder of the Crane Technique. Ooh, look at Mr. Smarty here. I think he knows it all. He's not like a cult fanatic. Trust me, this isn't going on, my, going on my resume anytime soon. You know, I haven't looked at this in a long time. I wonder when it became so cracked. I wonder I... What is it? I'm not too sure myself, but I found it just now inside the furnace. Huh? Is it trash burning day already? That's not something I would know about. I guess she didn't know this bloodstain. Is Phoenix carrying that giant jar around? I think he has a picture? Or is he just showing the picture? I think it's a picture, but technically... I don't know. Alright, anything else? Nah. Okay, now I think we have the answers to my questions. Oh, good lord, you're here. No! Oh! Hey, wait! Please wait, Lotta! She ran off into the manor. Where did Pearly go? Pur 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 pearls? Pur pearls? A Lotta. Oh! Hey, I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You lay, eye on me, you lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. <laughs> okay. Hey. Bye. Hey, look, ball. I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of run in this direction, but it doesn't look like she's here. But I still a steel samurai ball. It's Pearl's ball. Maya said that it's always kept in the clothing box, so then what is it doing on the floor? What? What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person! Just another piece of human trash! I needed a hole to crawl into! Why all the way out here? So you crawled into the clothing box because there was a hole to crawl into? Oh, man. Huh? There's a small hole in this clothing box. And it's about eight inches off the ground. That's the same height as the folding screen! Then could this- Dun dun dun. I thought I felt my soul take off. <laughs> For a sec, when Lotta jumped out at me. So it's big enough to fit a grown adult. Well, if she can be called an adult. Dang. Bye. 
wanna... Oh, Mr. Nick! That person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the one with the fluffy cotton candy hair. Ah, she means Lotta. She said, Don't look at me with them eyes, but I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you, Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. Alright, Pearl? Don't destroy me, please. I... I only have three health left, okay? Don't destroy me. I swear, if you... <laughs> I'm gonna cry, because I'm gonna die from, like, mental illness. Literally right there. Yes, you were in the winding way. Now, what were you doing? I got you. Boom. You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, that's right. How, how did you know? Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh, and then? Something happened, huh? Something really bad. What do you mean, something? Nothing happened. This is it. While you were playing the ball, this happened. This urn. It's a village treasure, right? Uh, um... And the spirit of the founder of the crane technique is sealed in here, right? Yes. What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um... Please, don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? This ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? She does seem to be fighting back, but I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange the lock hasn't broken yet. It's a really old urn, isn't it? I guess. It's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. How can you tell that urn has been broken? Who started the Korean channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it was Mystic Ami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. <sighs> I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. <sighs> oh, healthy. Nice. Worth. Pearl. Remember when Mystic Maya started the channeling on that day? I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? Yes, I broke it. I accidentally let Mystic Ami's spirit fly away. Don't worry, Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave, leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together, and no one would notice. Yes. I found some glue, and brought it to the hallway, and fixed the urn there. The hallway? You mean winding way? Yes. Oh. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm. I see. So, how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things, but when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. When I finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor! So, that's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed up everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... 
I'm going to get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I bet Mr. Kami is happy to be free from that cramped urn. Yeah, I hope so. No harm done, and a happy resolution. Oh. Alright. So what did I gain from that? I don't even know what I gained from it. Just her alibi, I suppose, that it's not her. And a lot of stuff. Alright. Well... What, what am I even trying to prove here? I guess this lady? Traffic accident. What, what is going on with her thing? Then. What's going on here? Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, yeah. It's so, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep, and, like, that's all I have to say about that. It's an accident, which means she must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic. How about you tell me about a certain person's other accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Oh, yeah, I got nothing. Accident. Is there anything else here? No, nah, okay. Another accident. Another accident. Hey, Morgan! Yes, what is it? And must you be so nosy? Noisy! You have a rule here, the hallway is not for running. Now then, in a calm manner, ask your question. Okay, anyway, did you see Lada come out here? Oh, that girl from the heartland. I'm sorry, but she did not pass by here any time. Ugh, Lana, you sure know how to waste a man's time. Hey, I'm gonna throw your daughter under the bus. Do you know anything about this? What about this? Or this? Okay, no, she knows nothing. She don't want you to know nothing. Empty space, completely dark. I knew I should have I should have taken a look. I can always count a lot and make things hard. I think I found out everything I can. I can't see how it all adds up. Hmm. Hey, hey. Is any money being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is that spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be that nurse and that her sister turns out to be Eni? It's too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. I wish I knew a little bit more about Eni, but where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over at trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Uh, Lotta. Oh, so you finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to ya. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to ya for chasing this large lump of one around like this. Um, thanks. But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. Well, what are you going on about? And as for following or chasing, or whatever it is, whatever, uh, isn't that what you're doing? Uh, well, you see. Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are ya? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. What'd you think? Look, I'm really dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, Lotta. Oh, 
I don't suppose you could forgive a gal like me. No. I'm not done. Oh. And to think we trusted you, Lotta? What do you do? You stab us in the back! You stressed us all out and even gave Maya a few strands of white hair! Uh, now, I'm gonna have to pray she makes it or she may come back as a ghost. Oh, that's enough! You can stop right there! Look, I'll tell you everything I know! Everything! I'll spill it all! Everything? Yeah, you got it! Everything! But, well, actually... <laughs> tell you what, I'll do it for free! You were expecting me to pay you after what you did to us? <laughs> I like how Phoenix just goes off on her. Amazing. If Maya's not the real murderer, then who do you think it is, Lana? Well, hey, ain't it obvious it's that a cult freak? You mean, Eeny Miney? Well, there ain't anyone else there could be, right? That granny, you, and me, and we were all together the whole time. So Lana suspects any, which means she might have already found some info about our mysterious any. Hey, girl, can you can you talk about this? About this clipping? Now, listen here, boy. Listen good. You can't go looking at such an old piece of paper. You hear? People's got eyes on on the front side. You know why? So they can see in front of themselves, not behind. So how about it? You feel my energy? No, nope, not an electron. Okay, what about this? You know nothing. Oh. You think I could have the guts to carry one of these around? A celebrity photographer with a gun? You think it'd work? Bang, bang! Nah, thanks, but nah. I can't see myself like that. Blood on it, get away from me. What do you think you're showing me? Things like this. Oh, right. She hates it. Nope, don't know nothing about that. Do you know about this? Do you know about this? <laughs> she knows nothing. Wait. I'm a real natural, aren't I? I caught the murderer just right, and I've even managed to make it mysterious. Serious? All you managed to do was forget to focus on your lens. Get a focus, focus your lens. Shut up! That's my technique. My technique now, you hear? What about this? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Murder with happy song in the background. Do you know anything about him? Hey, it's that Dr. Gray guy. It's a pity what happened to him. Pretty scary what ghouls and ghosts can do to a man, huh? God rest his poor soul. This one was a lot of religious. Now this kid, I think she needs to be taught some manners. This here is her first, second time in the stew, right? My pa would have slapped me straight. Yeah, you know what they say? If there's a second time, there's bound to be a third and a fourth. Ow! Ugh. You didn't have to slap me. I get it. I get it. Sorry. Think about her? That old lady sure can be forceful. She scared me that day. Well, only a little. Now you hear? You know her? <laughs> That's Eeny Miney, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this girl. Yeah, no. Actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister. She is the one Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I heard as about I heard about as much. Girls, I had also heard. That Eddie was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Korean Village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? I do. I actually do. Hey, this is the prosecutor gra gal. The one that likes breaking all the rules. Switches off horses and lights, not people. How's that? I made a pretty clever pun, didn't I? Sorry, didn't hear you. Ah, well, I'll forgive the wax in your ears this once and tell it to you one more time. No thanks. I overlooked this little kid. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't think it, but you know how it's always them silent types? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. The little type's nothing but a ball of happy goodness, right? So I reckon she's the type to have done it. Well, now, that's just how the world turns. I don't think this has anything to do with how the world turns. 
I swear, I've seen his face before, maybe during that last case. Whenever something happens, that detective guy's always there. I wonder if he's the real baddie behind everything. Imagine, imagine if Gumshoe was the one who did it. Somehow, I highly doubt it. How could it be the toddler? I know, she's so, she's baby. Speaking of any, do you have any other, uh, any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? <laughs> it'll cost you, and it'll cost you a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? Well, heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find something. Maybe? What's that supposed to mean? Well, see, actually, it was gonna be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Ugh. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ugh. I mean, look, don't blame this on... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Looks like I better... It looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go to check out this Cody clinic. Oh, good heavens. Oh, I, I forgot about Hody clinic. Oh. Unless Pearl's a trained child assassin, but she's too innocent with a ball and spelling mistakes. <laughs> she is. Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna end. I, I still want to do more. At least finish this investigation. At the very least. But I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna walk around. Um, I'll be back. I'm gonna do a three minute ad. So that way we don't have like an hour of, of ads. And then we'll be back for more. Although, while I'm gone, I need to figure out how to sound like the most disgusting person, like the ugly bastard of the series. I need to figure out how to sound like that, so I'll, I'll figure that out. <laughs>
I'm back. I'm back. And we're gonna go to Hody Clinic. Welcome back. Thank you. Wow, it looks like home. <laughs> my my second home away from home. So, this is where Innie was hospitalized. <laughs> mm, yes, uh, <clears throat> are, are you here to visit a patient? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, are, are you a doctor here? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Director Hody <laughs> Uh, I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Yes, so what can I help you with? <laughs> I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Innie Miney. Let me double check something real quick. Okay. Why is he so itchy? Oh. Mm -hmm. Miss Miney? Miss Innie Miney? Mm, yes. Mm. Oh, her. Oh, that's too bad. I I'll tell you something. That girl left here a long time ago. Here you are, sir! You know you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. This is me when a patient's like, can I go outside? <laughs> ah, sweetos, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh to an old man like me. Don't you dare start with the sweetums things with me. Don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow, I didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful towards their boss. Come now, be a good boy and give me the director's white lab coat. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes. Uh huh. Don't. Hmm, yes, me? Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hoti. <laughs> the nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the humanity. Only the person I can talk to is this guy. Oh. Move Phoenix. Move away from here. So, what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Hmm. Yes. We treat all sorts of uh, doctory clinical stuff. Uh huh, yes. Doctory clinical stuff? Well, I don't actually know particularly care uh know or particularly care about the details. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, what does that look for? Ah, uh, yes. There's a really big general hospital around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where they can't accommodate everyone, they move some of the other patients here. Uh -huh. That's actually true to real life. <laughs> you do surgeries here? Yes. We do plastic surgery here, it seems. Mm -hmm. Not that, though. It seems? Mm. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, it, it seems that way. In me, mine. What do you know about Miss Edie Miney? <laughs> now you're talking. Yes, that girl. She was transferred from the general hospital. From the... Oh, from the general hospital to here? Oh, I, oh, I... I do not like his movements. <laughs> what kind of surgery did she need? Yes, uh, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad. Really, really bad. So what kind was it? Yes, well, uh, no, 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 no. You see, this is something... No, I can't tell you. So you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how... Doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. You mean HIPAA? It's in all those TV shows too, right? You've seen them, right? Yes. I'm never gonna get him to accept those broken zipper teeth at this like <laughs> at this rate. There's gotta be something I can show to this old coot. Old, old, old Mister. What do you know about this? More attractive items? Huh? anything about this? Okay. Maybe. Do you know this? 
Now this is what I'm talking about. Yes, mm, nice. This is nice and exciting. What? What do you think? Does anything grab your attention? Mm. Yes, this is this is nice. Um, yes, I I like I I, I like this picture. Yes, uh, mind if I borrow this for a while for p private research purposes? <laughs> um, that's okay. I don't think I should support his research. Had more attractive items. What about this? Now this is what I'm talking about. It's like the- oh. You want a gun? No? You really not have anything like- You want my badge? Hmm? What's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. Yes, yes. What is this? What is with your angry face? Violence is the answer. Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow, and I would really like some information from you. Hmm, is that right? Well, you know, I, I think I can let you in on a secret. What's that? Hmm, yes, actually, uh -uh. I'm I'm not the real director. Are you kidding? Anyone with a half of fly half of a fly's brain would knew that. Huh? What do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, hold on. I'll, I'll give you something like, real information, okay? I'm actually this clinic's. See, I I'm like this place's walking dictionarypedia. You mean walking inside the encyclopedia? Yeah, that. And my specialty is in young, silky smooth, haughty patients. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah, how about you keep that kind of information to yourself? <laughs> anyway, you want to know about Little Miss Innie Miney, right? Little Miss Innie Miney? That girl. Oh, I remember her especially well. Really, especially very well. That's right, we could... None of the kids. Oh, th this is a superb example of a woman. I'd like to meet her just one time. Bring her to me tomorrow. Mm, she'll get special attention from me, I promise. Where does he think he is? This is a medical facility. So you know this chick? Mm, yes, Miss Innie is really cute in this picture. You would agree, right? Yeah, sure. I wish I could see her again. Maybe the next time she has a big accident. <sighs> yes, I'll, I'll, I'll tell her for you. Mm, yes, please. Mm, yes, I'll, I'll be I'll be waiting for her. Uh, wait, waiting. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> right. I feel like I, I feel like somewhere. I've seen her somewhere before. I think. Mm, mm. Well. When she comes tomorrow for her consultation, I'm sure we can get reacquainted. I don't believe this. Do you like older women? So I'd like to ask you about this. Mm, yeah, nothing. There's no need to bring this person in for an exam. <laughs> Would it do it anyway? Even as a pretend doctor, he gets an F from me. Oh, I'm... What about her? What? Not even Lada? What about you? Oh, it's me. <laughs> yes, my tuft of hair. It's it's so nice. Shows off my um, smartness. You should try it too. My new hairstyle that I invented. Uh, that's okay. I'll I'll pass on this one. Nasty. Please tell me about what you know about Eeny Miney. <laughs> yes, I I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl. That's right. She was transferred here from the general hospital. Did he react to Von Car- I- I didn't- I did not click on the younger girls. <laughs> I'm too scared to, to read what he says about any- uh, Nah. No thanks. I don't want to. <laughs> I- I- I did not want to. This was- mm, Yes, a, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? No, 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 no. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see- Yeah, yeah. 
I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury. Her whole body was wrapped round and round bandages and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe, all right. Mm, yes, it was an accident. An accident. They're scary, yes? Cars? Mm, yes. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yep. That's what gave her the terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers. Mm. Yes, I looked it all up. I did. It was terrible. Yes. Dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation. Hmm? Are you talking about Miss Innie's operation? Yes, Miss Innie's. That, uh, that was one heck of an accident. Mm, yes, her whole face was burned like bad toast. It was, it was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Hmm. It was a good thing that Miss Innie had a picture of herself. I heard that picture was how they put her face back together. Hmm. Picture? That girl, she, she, she had a... She had just gotten her license, so she just happened to have a license photo on her. Mm, yes. So... So I got to see her picture as a way to remember her. Yeah, more like I, I swiped it. Uh, a breach of ethics? Oh, wait. What? What? A pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows? I didn't bother to ask. It probably got burned up along with the car. <laughs> yes. Annie's photo for her driver's license. Okay. Um, so you looked up information on Annie's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Mm, yes, I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it? Do you remember? <sighs> yes. Hold on. I I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. Huh? You, you have it? Well, 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 don't don't get me wrong. I I thought something like this might come up, so obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Yes. According to this, Miss Innie was in the passenger seat. The passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and the next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Innie fought with the door, and finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. And you can read all the details in this article. Mm, yes. A new clue. I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Miss Innie had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yes. So how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Mm, yes, well then, I, I, I better get back to my room. Tell Miss Eddie I said hi, okay? <laughs> yes? It's time for me to leave, too. Hmm, yes. Oh, okay. That's definitely time to leave. <laughs> this patient's undergoing rehab and look on the strained face, twisting in all those ways and that really sweat. Hmm. His whole body is swaying back and forth, wobble wobble, like he's about to fall. Hmm, yes. Hey! Don't just cut into my monologue like that. I'm explaining things here. <laughs> sorry. Yes, uh, most sorry. <laughs> this is the clinic's reception desk, but it doesn't look like there's anyone else at the counter. On the walls is this month's word to the wise. Do something in vain, and your only reward is tiredness. Hmm, not exactly the best thing to be telling your patients, is it? No, it's not. It must be the waiting area. It's got the one... It's got the feeling of one, and their sofa's lined up. I don't see that many patients. Mm, yes, it's it's the quality, not quantity, that counts, uh huh? What in the world did I have to do? What? <laughs> and then the escape room. No, oh, that's the x-ray room. Yes. H how did you know what I was thinking? Mm, yes, well, it's, it's because that's the x-ray room, huh? <laughs> There's something very peculiar about this guy, but I know it's not me. Okay. Uh, let's go. Kurain Village. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Oh, yeah. So earlier that old granny called the cops? Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the cops? She says she has something to tell them. Things are sure getting interesting. 
uh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got a bloomer to the knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master sea and controlling the village full. But now you see what it's turned into? A murderer, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on. What? That's the stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Yeah, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in this world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Faye, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Mario was supposed to become the master? Do you know where any is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She hanging around that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her. Yeah, I got a whole list of things she can clear up for me. So, I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. I not think of it. Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's power lightly. Well, anyway. Somehow, Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Uh, said all sorts of things, too, like... She's the eldest, but yet... She doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Oh, I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Do you know about this? Wait, where's the newspaper clipping? Where's the newspaper clipping? May 24th, late last night, two women... Two women's car... Two women's? Car crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. The investigation revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened right the right door. She was in the passenger seat and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. Doctor looking at if Miss Any Miney is to believe, the one driving the car was her sister Mimi Miney. Mimi Miney was a nurse with a Okay. Right. Where's the other newspaper clipping? I thought we had one. I'm assuming that's the one, then. Highway of Nightmares. Okay, well... I'm hoping we have everything. Hey! Like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? We're getting started. Eeny miny. We're just getting started. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident. Oh, um, huh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm, interesting. Which means she must have something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain pers other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Yours? I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in an accident? I'm assuming it's this? 
Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from a year ago. It says, Miss Annie Miney holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? Like, wait! What now? That's not me! Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name is Any Miney. My name, Any Miney, is, like, pretty common. What in the world are you blabbing about? Your sister name, your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here, too. Like, totally? Wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. I think I'm gonna let you get away with that. So, like, what now? Like... Do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Yeah, you see, I was looking for that, actually. <laughs> oh, I thought I picked it up. Where is it? <sighs> I thought he gave it to me. to me, right? he had given it to me which is don't you have it i thought so but all i have is just her license photo the 14 patients This is about, um, the malpractice. Or does it not count? It's supposed to prove that she was in an accident. Isn't the license enough? You think so? I guess we could try. Hey, girly. Wait. Can you tell me about this? <laughs> Will you talk? Oh, come on, girly. It's your face. Will you talk about this? Oh, come on. All right. Well, we'll give it a try. Because I used the license as the first one, but... I thought he had handed it to us. Okay. Can you, like, prove I was in an accident? Not me, any miney. You have something that totally says I was hospitalized. This is her driver's license. Oh, I guess it worked. 
This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director. Now you're ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so like, I was in the accident, sure. But that's like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Oh, look, now he whips it out. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? A and? A woman who died? Who do they suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... You? Like, no. Oh, oh, shoot. She opened her eyes. Huh? Like, that accident was like a year ago. So like, what's what this person got to do with it? I'm totally not interested in stupid people like you. Bye. Oh my god. I stole her. Wait, 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 wait. I think I know who it is. Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... It's not you? I... Oh. But this is an obvious answer. Unless... Do I present it a third time? Okay, I don't think so. <laughs> um... Would it be your sister? I- yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I thought we knew this. I thought this was established, Phoenix. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. You were riding in your sister's car while she drove, right? The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Okay, what? Whatever. All right, tell me. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were like on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. then it happened. At the time, I grabbed from my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give any a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm gonna serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? What? She's... She implying something? Don't know. Wow, and I like totally don't care about that person anyway. Wow, yeah, she hates him. Hates him. Okay, nothing there. She's creepy. I guess we're going back, right? What else is there to do? Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... 
No, don't make that face. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something. Detective, do not upset me further. Uh, sorry. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. <sighs> Mother. Mother. This has never happened before. Pearls? Mr. Nick! I... I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is gonna happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. <sighs> I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya... She must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. <sighs> okay. Bye, Pearly. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now, I, I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few Cyclops of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. Oh, good. Or you're, you're making me do this? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. You and me, Mia. Come on, Phoenix. We don't have enough time to be looking at things like this. We need to find out everything we can- Oh, I have to walk the, the talk first. Fine. The murderer. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Oh, well that was quick. Why... do you think so? It's really... tried at times, uh, to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, a battle of wits against Mia. Ooh. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer tomorrow before the trial. I mean, like, how did the real murder get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were standing all around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think, in any case. But Maya already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck in like a beached whale. Hmm. I never thought I'd see this day. Uh, are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into that person you're calling was something our ancestors, our ancestor, Mystic Amy Fay, acquired. I've heard the name before. The Fay family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, Amy, Ami, I don't even know, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Amitabha? Uh, Am Amitabha? Amitabha? To this day, her soul is still sealed in the cr Well, it was. It usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are, are you saying that? Yeah, me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Well, it's kind of... It's gone. The, the, the soul's gone. You don't know this. <laughs> but it's flying out there in space somewhere. Mordor. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you, isn't that right? Yes. Alright then. Tell me who you think I'm protecting. Her. Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Well done, but while the murderer was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. 
which means she already has an al already blah 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 already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence of a cast suspicion onto my aunt. Early. No. Show me some evidence of a cast suspicion onto my aunt. The proof is this piece of cloth. I found it in the incinerator incinerator near the winding way. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. You mean it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder. Yes, but when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes, but why? Uh, I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of, of Maya, my aunt. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. You have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. With his blood. But do you know whose blood that is at any point in time? You don't, do you? You have any proof that piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Do I? No. I. I. I don't. Well. No. I. Um. Probably. Maybe? Do you have any proof that piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? But this is the one that was... she was wearing. They're trying to say that they changed her clothes. Because she had it in her pocket. And then if she found it in the incinerator. But then if they flipped clothes, why, why would they? Why would they switch her clothes? Well, I guess to frame her, right? Okay, okay. I think I see. I think this is the proof you're looking for. The key to the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key, and yet somehow it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. And this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both this key and the key piece of cloth were found inside this incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was a part of Maya's costume. It would certainly seem that way. Someone changed her into a different set of clothes. And then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator. There's only one person who could have done that. My aunt. Exactly. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. I'm trying my best. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know. If my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? Oh, she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? A buddy. A friend. I don't- I don't know what I should present. She needed a friend. Any Miney. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and any miney were in cahoots. Cahoots? Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Faye Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. 
We can assume that Eeny Miney is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was co cooperating with Eeny. With Eeny Miney. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Now she does. Then there is only one possibility, huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Because Mother, she's the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Who's? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Faye. Me and Maya's mother. Why would she bring her up now? Now then, looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. Yeah. To be continued. Ooh, I kind of just want to go straight into the court case. Ooh, do I, oh, I want to just go straight into it. Mm. Nah, you know what? Let's go straight into it. <laughs> uh, maybe at least the first part. Well, everything's still fresh. Um, Nick? Yeah? Do you know? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Uh, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself and she's always so grown up! Yeah, and I'm sure she feels a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well, I'm the daughter of a master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspected in murder trial. But I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning! The two of you look really, uh, the two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, good morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls? Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick. Uh, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, that's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough! You can't show weakness in front of the person you love! Pearly, not this again! Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake, too. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Oh, thank goodness. Pearls in love with love? Yeah. <laughs> Nick? This way. This way. Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. Uh, what do you mean? What's going on? Oh, Phoenix. He's like, I don't actually really need Mia, but this is for Pearl's sake. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you made quite a name of yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh huh, that's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you're such in good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's true what they say women are really scary when they fight. Mm. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to has uh, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest. The defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. 
What? Since when? But Miss Von Karma. Then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Bay, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe this is when she dropped the key. Can you substantiate your claim? Is it that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt Morgan Fay to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Or Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Oh! I don't care what anyone thinks. Really. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes. That is. Ugh. You. Be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. W what in the world could have... Mystic Maya. She escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the hearts of the matter. Maya Fey, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Miss Fay, please testify to this court what happened during this time. Your Honor, I was trying my best. I think someone's just up the ante on this trial. Oh, they're gonna make me do the whole run around, aren't they? After we heard the two gunshots, the two broke. or sorry, the gunshots. Those two broke the door and opened and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Was hanging from the mystic from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. I gotta sneeze. Okay, no more sneezing. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Hmm. Why have you hidden this until now? Thank you. I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arrive. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to, never, to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Two broken- okay. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. It's a possibility that one of us should stay behind. That's a very good point. At that time, I, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear that. Why would you mention that? There was another reason you wanted us both out of the room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you ch chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both good... Oh, of the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Fay. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one on us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Miss Wright? Miss Fay, please continue. A pistol was hanging from Miss Sigmaya's hand and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you say that you struck the defendant on the back of the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. That statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? 
It is very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade missing Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? Pray, what? Pray tell did she... The witness didn't and could have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now witness, continue. Why suddenly she thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. Is it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing, but yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than a defendant. There is no way she could have easily escaped from you. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix, right? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically my fae. Mm, growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't she have given right, uh, given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However, with great strength, she had hit me. You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed to the floor. How long were you unconscious? I I'm not sure. About ten minutes? Ten minutes? We didn't take that long to call. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true. Then how can you be no how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. The key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? I mean she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. It's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And for what she has said, we can establish that Maya Fei did leave the chamber. I hope this isn't going to come back to bite us in the butt. Now let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Be quiet to you. Now then, what the escapee had done when she had gone to speak with a certain person? She... she went to speak with someone? Oh, eeny miny. I think you can see where this is headed. The girlies are in cahoots. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay. So my name is like, Eeny Miney. I'm like, researching like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. <laughs> what is parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people say, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fey. This is correct. Um, well... <laughs> like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is alright, isn't it, your honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, your honor, have some spine for my sake. <laughs> like, when the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. And I was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like hadn't seen her in like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. And you told me nothing. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying this person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant Maya Fey? Really now, your honor? Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. 
Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what that terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course, Miss Miney, please. My sister? Like, this is what she said to me. That was... no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yeah. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... this testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. That even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind the ta this tapestry of lies. Your Honor? There is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will, will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Okay, no more voices. Let's just try to get through it. When I was sleeping a little later, someone came in like suddenly. Oh my god, that was my sister. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You you guess? Was it like not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. She's an idiot. First of all, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the, the defense rests. Oh, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now the witness, how did you feel when you saw Mimi Miney? I hadn't seen her so long, so I was happy in like a sad way. You were happy? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react with surprise to seeing a dead loved one alive again? Uh, well, maybe if I was, like, somebody who didn't know about, like, the cult. But I, like, know all the crane's handling techniques. The point here is that the witness immediately recognized it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Shite. You know, question. Always. So you really don't think anything strange? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But, oh. Don't keep badgering her. Phrase objection? Could you try using that once? Mr. Wright, the question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Oh, oh, yeah, it's important. It is very important, although I haven't figured out what it is yet, but you know what? Whatever makes them talk more, we can use that. We can leverage that. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. I wasn't like scared at all, and like her costume looked totally like normal. Normal? So like there was nothing odd at all? Like, yeah, nothing was like weird. It's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I like go on? Okay, 
just explain yourself here. What was it terrible? Like, didn't I just tell you? Like, did you forget already? A foolish fool, 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 fool. Don't bother. I don't know which one to show. Is it the picture? Should I... Should I show the picture or should I show the clothes? Okay, yeah, I guess either one would have worked. That was a very well-spun line, Miss Innie. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Miney. Why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um... Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? I'm thinking! Don't interrupt me! Uh, that... And what are you stammering about, your honor? Uh, uh oh, well, um... That witness. Her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now hurry up with the testimony. Uh, if you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. How did you know where she came from? Now you've given us a clear reason why you didn't notice the blood, but it was broad daylight. It was 3 p.m. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? Alright, I guess not. Very well, you may question the witness. How was it dark? Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside of that room. Don't push your subjective opinions into this court. Like, that's right! Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, may, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like, okay. Ugh, I can't breathe. Let me out of here. So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. You, you didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Continue. And I, like, persuaded my sister. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at that time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, she, she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted me to go to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did maybe spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I, I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel better. I'd like to, fe I'd like to feel a lot better, too, Mr. Phoenix, right? The sooner the better says with a whip ready. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? Can I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? 
Like, sure. Is there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, what do you mean? Um, uh, when? Um, when you... Were you were in the side room or going to the crime scene? Arrived at the crime scene. I'm talking about when you arrived at the ch channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. What should I do? Think harder, I know you can remember something. I, I like, totally can't. Just give up already, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Too much faith in her ability. So good, I can't find anything wrong. The judge will leave this testimony if you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement. No, in the trial, I know. I'll have to give it another shot. Blood buttons, let it in. Then I like took my sister to the channeling chamber. How did you know that she was originally? Oh. Notice anything? Think harder. I know you remember something. I like totally can't. It's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to court. You think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is very important. It's I asked because it is very important. Not that I know where I No, you absolutely do, Phoenix! You do! We're we're for once I'm I'm Phoenix Brain. I like didn't see anyone on the <laughs> Wait, I don't even know what to present here, though. Crap. <laughs> I'm proud, but I'm like, I... I don't know what to present here. Is it... Is it... Um, it's either the ball or the urn. I could say the urn. I finally found the fault. Or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Oh, he's so proud of himself. <laughs> Take a look at this urn. He just pulls out this this cracked urn from behind the table. Like urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? S so, like, what does that prove? Who cares about some worn-out old urn? Like, yeah. I already like said I didn't see like anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't like totally say anything about like an urn, did I? absolutely did not. It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking down, walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could have not seen this person. Wait, this is like the time that Pearly should be here. Oh well. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Morgan Faye's daughter, Pearl Faye. Yes, and how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Oh! Wait. She- she broke the urn? Yep. She accidentally knocked it over with her ball. Nar. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What?! Oh, that's actually kind of scary. I don't know if I like that breakdown scene. <laughs> Miss Miney! Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you could see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. 
<laughs> I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar. That's right. You need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she say is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. A about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was like sleeping in the side room. I really believe her, but she really. No way. Your lies in here. What, what do you. The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible because there's clearly a contradiction, is there? Actually, actually, you know what, Phoenix, I. Phoenix, I don't actually. Help me, Mia! I don't know what Phoenix is trying to say no more! He be saying all sorts of stuff! It's in the evidence! You know what? Maybe that's the safest one. Mia's gonna laugh at me if I, like, cry to her, you know? It's in the evidence. Flying off the handle, he'd be saying all sorts of stuff! The answers of the court record. What? <laughs> Funny to throw it out a revelant- another revelant piece of evidence. Very well, the court will see this evidence. Wait, Mia? I don't know what you plan on showing to the court, but I can guarantee you that. Just this once, I'll lend you a hand. Now rethink your answer. Oh, all right. <laughs> he knows he bluffing. The witness says that during she was in sleep, and I say that's not possible. Okay, so she's just like, bro, you don't know what you're saying. It's in her testimony. Help me, Mia. You know what? I kind of want to pick this one. Hmm, I may have overreached this one. He looks so confident. <laughs> That's a really a contradiction. You, you should have thought about that before you said something, Phoenix. Don't worry, you're on the right path, Phoenix. It might be a little hard for you to see the contradiction, but it's in there, so... Yes, please. Yes, backseat me. That's, that's fine, Mia. Please, I need your help. I don't know what Phoenix is saying. <laughs> That girl, she slipped up with her words. Her words. If she really was in the side room the entire time, then she just testified about something she shouldn't have any knowledge of. Oh, yeah, like everybody in the channeling chamber? It's in her testimony. Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And like, Miss Morgan Fay was the only one. Ooh, that's a good one. That's right. How'd you know that, huh? How, how'd you know she was the only one in there? It's true that at the time both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that like have anything to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? H how? I could see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means Miss Miney. You did, in fact, go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by the winding way. But look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the meditation room and this channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why. Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Miss Mighty, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was any Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Oh, heck yeah. I know where she was. She wasn't dying because of peanuts. Or sorry, sesame seeds. She was in here. Of course. What? But, but that's the channeling chamber. This is not the crime scene. That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Gotta plant her in there, you know? That's what- 
Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Amy Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Oh, I got you, girly. I know where exactly where you were at. You were behind here. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen. Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anybody was hanging out. See? You stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slimeball. Now, now, Miss Miney, one so young as you shouldn't be saying, Shut it, Gramps! As if I know exactly how old I am. I I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. Miss Miney. I can't believe this. She's so cool looking. <laughs> How were you able to hide yourself at this cr uh, The scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. <laughs> that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Oh, heck no. You absolutely can. And your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that clothing box was in the side room, wasn't it? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right, I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright, do you think you could prove where the clothing box was at, was at the time of the murder? Yes, I can. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime. Does it say that it has a hole? Do I, do I just present it again? Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if any sort of evidence in that old- As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Th this is- What on earth? I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There there's a hole. About eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight, eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? Th the folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what had happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then the box. Ugh. Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you saying? Th then Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo was Miss Innie Miney? That is exactly what I'm saying. Miss Innie Miney, you were hiding inside that clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. N no Stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime? It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. You're right, it's not possible. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ah! Oh. Need I remind you? The foolish receive no mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it was it not pop it was not possible for one person, correct? But you, you can't be serious. <sighs> <sighs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. Oh shoot, I hit the wrong button. I got too excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh! I don't even want to waste the energy to raise my whip. His lady friend can deal with him. 
Really, Phoenix? You even got Miss, v Miss Von Karma to give up on you, too. As in, me too. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I'll think we're careful. I'll watch my button presses. I'm sorry. I, I just hit the wrong button. <laughs> uh, this person! If it wasn't someone from Grey Crane Village, you wouldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Faye household, you wouldn't have gotten that box either. Morgan Faye? Isn't that that wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say with this to this, Miss Miney? Ah! You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. The murderer? The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was not actually dead yet. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot out at the attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was, uh, was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady had thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we force our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with her blood. With the blood? Okay. And pretended to be Maya Faye. But that sort of deception would have been easily been seen through. Or I did not read that right. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Faye chased us out. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who was that, laughing at a time like this? Oh, you simple-minded fools, I'm sorry. Are you still, by chance, evolving? What, what is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely... Of course it was me. You really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If the witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to beat one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Uh, well, that's... um... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Innie Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't even have a motive. A motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is the reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Uh... Wait... Her car accident? Everything that had happened to them? This? Huh. 
just as I thought. You bored me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? Just great. Now she even she's calling me by my full name. I think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes! Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proved that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say that I take revenge based on nothing? Rai is my Oshi. <laughs> Hi, Arson. How are you? Good evening. What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. I'm like, going to explain. So like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like, wanted revenge, then like, I wouldn't have waited this long. I've never seen Ace Attorney before. Oh boy, buckle in. <laughs> um, and besides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She she's back to her airhead person persona. However you see Oh Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You failed to support your own theory. In the end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix, right? You should really learn your place. Ugh! What happened? I thought I had her for sure! <laughs> See? Like, it's just as I, like, told you. I hope you've liked your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cost examination of Miss Amy Miney. Then... Oh. The drama. Your Honor, please, allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. What? I'm not following. My Mia, could you just tell me the answer? Why you have to be all conspicuous about this? Okay, motive. Can you provide the reason? I lie. <laughs> I I bluff my entire way through it. Yes, I can. You can't give up. I'm not totally confident here, but I know I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. Yeah, main character. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Ah. Interesting. I'll let you have your- You know what? Every single, every single time you let this happen, Francisca, you're just gonna bite your fingernails because you're so confident in yourself and then we just get like five inches forward doctor was a spy <laughs> what you're supposed to be on my side ah! avon karma only cares about the perfect win as long as you have the will to fight i will knock you down mr phoenix right and i don't care if you are my witness so help me i will throw you out of my way no way very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a s- Okay, well. Wow. I really just wanted to finish this, actually. What time is it? Three? It's been almost three hours, right? And not 3 a.m., but like three, three more hours. 
I want to finish it. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I just want to beat up uh, the the lady, the older lady. What's her face? I don't even remember. Morgan? Ooh, I just, ooh, I just want it so bad. Ooh. And you want to come back knowing nothing. You're right. Okay, okay. Give me three minutes. Rest my throat. Walk around. Stretch. Rest my eyes. And then we're going to continue. We're going to continue. So, yeah, just get, just give me three minutes. Okay, I am back. I have rested my eyes. I've done a big stretch. I drank my water. I used the potty. We're ready. I don't remember if I saved those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Here we go. 
back for more. Thank you. 12.04 p.m. Is it really true? About my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eddie could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no... No one else other than your aunt, aunt... Than your aunt, Morgan. That's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh. Uh, Miss Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Right. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation? Ugh. I'm looking down on me even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you. And let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring back your father. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. Cat, fight, cat, fight. Court will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. She's a stalker at this point. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Edie Miney had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Edie Miney and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection, and that is a car accident a year, one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to this court about your last about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see any point in bringing up, like, the past. Miss Miney, if you please. I need to sneeze. Excuse me. Thank you. Last year's accident. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped, too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm. I think I've heard of this incident. It was a talk of the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Ugh! Those were merely rumors. Totally base baseless gossip. Hmm. Yes, Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. Okay, last year in May, something really ha bad happened. This was a malpractice incident. Yeah, what was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mini Miney? Like, no way! Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. And, like, the night of the incident, my sis was totally tired while driving. She was totally tired? You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police, and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's a wonder, then, uh, that the car accident happened. Press harder. So then, why did you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Like, I don't, like, have a driver's license. This is news to me. I was unaware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm, Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. Wait. It's like, 
totally poop, so I fell asleep in the passenger seat. Unlike the night of the accident, my sister's was totally very tired. Right. There was a sea of flames around me. And your sister, what happened to her? I... I didn't see her. The car was like, totally black. And there was like, a ton of smoke. I like, totally had like, no idea what was going on. I like, opened the door and got away. You tell us about your escape. I like kept wanting to forget that time, so like I don't remember things about the accident in like detail anymore. Hmm, well it's alright, no need to push yourself. I think I like gave an interview after the accident. Like that would probably be most accurate, you know? That's that ar article, I already got it. I like didn't have my license. <laughs> Squinty eyes? And that's why you were in the passenger seat? Like, yeah. I was, like, at my college's research lab till, like, really late. So my sis was, like, giving me a ride home. Phoenix? Yes. You, can, you can't do this. You're being too easy on her. I know. I know. But, I mean, she just, she just laid it out there for us. Oh, shoot. I pressed A too much. <laughs> I didn't think it was that soon. Okay, here we go. What about this? Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took that, uh, for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah, I have, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Haughty, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What? Are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you know he was perverted? No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? N November? The accident happened last May. That's a half year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the... Th that's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Mr. M Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Ugh... Cry, and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm like, glad you get it, but... Like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would've, like, let me drive. <sighs> don't just stand there mm, and to yourself. Not you two, me. Not you two, with the whip and the pain and the... Oh, Miss Miney. Why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Huh? Um... That's because... I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Huh? Like, how annoying! Oops. Like, sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, to this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm. Hmm. I see. A bright red f uh, car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... Really close to getting your license? What do you mean by really close? Like, I have one of those permit things? Okay, permit. Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. He rides his bike to work. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. He rides a bike. <laughs> Ignorance is to be whipped. It was with her. All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may continue. 
Sis was like big fans of sport cars. She valued cars. She flip out like a rain of oh wow. She would notice if someone like touched the car door with dirty hands. Why did you take such special care of the car? How could you say that? It was brand speaking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I just think the cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try to see something more significance, okay? Oh, Miss Miney, what kind of car was it? Big. It's expensive. It was from the UK. Were those her boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would... Yeah, press harder. I don't really know anything about cars. Your Honor, please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Oh, well, if you like cars that much then, that's not my point. Though to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. <laughs> sure, whatever. The sister of car was like a totally special model from England. I yelled hold it pretty forcefully, but I don't know why I said it. As for the heck of it. <laughs> so, yes. What am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive? And their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States? It would seem there is no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing. It's kind of goofy, ain't it? You, what do you know? That sleek shape. Oh, 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 she's saying a lot. Oh. Okay, forgive me. Her personality really changes at the drop of the hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. Hey. Wait. Hold up. Oops. Miss Miney, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you ask suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's is on the left side. That would be if an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them are riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be on the left. Oh! What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you would escape using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Dang. Rabble, rabble, rabble. For realsies, order, order in the courts, order! Oh, Mr. Phoenix writes his blabbering nonsense again. Innie said the driver who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Innie said. Yes, but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Any or Mimi? Who was really driving that night? Any, Mimi, my Nemo. Any. And the answer is Any, Miney, of course. But why would you say that? Miss Any, Miney just said so in her herself. Said so herself in that testimony. She said that she escaped from the car. She escaped the car from the right side door which would have been where the driver's seat was. I'm inclined to feel sorry for the foolish fool who foolishly spends his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Innie Miney had not yet received her driver's license. And that is why the accident happened. Hold it, Phoenix. It looks like you still don't understand. You still don't see the real truth behind the accident. The real truth? Think outside the box. Isn't that what we always say? I didn't notice the any mighty, but his naming scheme until now. <laughs> Alright, one more time. 
If it could connect all the dots, there could only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Any or Mimi? Who was really driving that night? Mimi Miney. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license. Mimi Miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said, the witness, Miss Innie Miney, was, in the, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question? Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? <sighs> what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness name? This witness name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. The witness's real name is... Mimi Miney. Ooh. Mimi Miney. That is your real name. Objection! Of all the foolish dribble... Then how do you explain her appearance? The witness had several facial burns when she was admitted to the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstructions, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery. This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right, it's a picture of her younger sister. But maybe Miney. She died in that car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. And then... The body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Any Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Any Miney. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Any. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can see now why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. Wh what do you mean? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. And the fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So, this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Gray Tur uh, Turner Gray. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and before the channeling... Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. W well, Miss Any, I mean, Miss Von Karma, why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been amassed. Witness? That's right. I admit it. My name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But... but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted her old self to disappear because of this. Right? This, right? This, it, ha it has to be. What else is connected to her? It has to be. That's, that's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. Ugh. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, mishap. Mimi Miney had a car accident, in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life? Extinguished. 
It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister. And even her own face. That was- this was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of the channeling mumbo-jumbo. Mumbo-jumbo. Becoming any has been the most horrible experience of the world. Spirit channeling the occult? I hate it! I hate it all! Why did it- why did it turn black that quickly? <laughs> I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as, why did Miss Miney choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant Maya Fay? Th this is- this is preposterous! I- I'm perfect! Me! Francisca Von Karma! I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcasted all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Oh! 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 Oh my god! He's gonna die! <laughs> Phoenix? Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This quartz is a fraud! A sham! He's dead! <laughs> now then. It looks like it'll be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Yay! Even though Phoenix is dead. Yay! <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. So, are we just gonna ignore the the elephant in the room? Eyeballs Morgan? Congratulations, Maya. Sis! Oh, They finally see each other because she's always borrowing Maya's body. Oh! Ugh. Sad. <laughs> it's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was just all a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis? In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the doors of the chamber herself. And then, you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had planned it down to the smallest details, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out of jam- uh, bailed me out of another jam! Well, you know, but... I really don't want something like this to ever happen again. Well, about that, Maya. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? I don't even remember. I'm fine, because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First, my sister. Oh, so the aunt did get thrown into the slammer. That's... that's good. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya. It's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... I'm pretty sure it's... Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into the Crane Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, the 
the main family's bloodline would disappear, and then what would happen then? The branch family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual- Oh, no, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Oh! Everything was done for her sake. It was so that Pearl would become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think she was... Uh, I think that she was saying I thought so. My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be the master of the Crane, dear child. I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder, and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. Not Maya Fey. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. I do not like Morgan. But yay! We finished it! Woohoo! Nice! New episode. Oh no, I didn't mean to click on that. But I will save. Save is good. Save is good. Yay! We finished it! Woohoo! It's still not over, right? Oh, it is? Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The episode is over. Morgan? Not so much. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we see Morgan again. I forgot how. But I'm pretty sure we see Morgan again. That's not the end of her. I, I, ugh. She's scary. Honestly, she is probably one of the scariest antagonists of the series. Definitely has way too much power for what she is. Good, like, villain, that's for sure. Very good antagonist. Very good villain, but very scary. So yeah, we finished. Yay! Um, so no stream tomorrow, because I'll be gone. Very fun case to drop into. Yeah, I think this next case is clowns. And acrobats and lions and circus people. So that's gonna be fun. Although um if I remember right, this this case turned about Big Top. Not I can't even spoil it for you because I don't even remember everything. But I do know this this case is kinda like people are 50-50 on. Either they really, really like it or they really, really don't. Is this the dreaded clown lady? I don't think so. I think I think the clown lady that you guys are aware of or is in like a later game. But there is there is still clown people involved in this. People with a fear of clowns, please be careful. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> yeah, there's there I don't know. Is there a sexy clown in this? I don't remember. Um but I if I remember right Turnabout Big Top was okay. It kind of feels like a filler episode, but I didn't hate it. A lot of people seem to really dislike this case, and I don't remember why. I think it was just convoluted, maybe? It's so good that I don't remember anything, because even when I'm talking about it, I don't know enough to be able to spoil it. I'm just literally vague posting about it. So... I'm in these cases. This is where my memory shines. Be my or the lack of memory that I have shines because I can't even spoil a game that I played twice. <laughs> so, uh, the not the balloon lady. She's a 3D version, which eventually we will play because apparently that one with the clown lady. She is in the Apollo Justice Trilogy. 
And I never got to play, even though they call it a trilogy, I don't really consider it a trilogy. But the the 3D ones, the 3DS ones, I never got to play those. My sister did. I did not. And I hear they're all right. They're okay. But my heart is with Apollo Justice. Apollo Justice really, truly is my game. I really want to get through Justice for All, though, because Trials and Tribulations, oh, that's peak. Trial and, Trials and Tribulation is honestly probably the best Ace Attorney game, at least for, like, the Phoenix Wright trilogy. So, so good. I loved all of it. So I am really excited to get through it. Honestly, the, what was initially supposed to happen was me just going straight to Trials and Tribulations. But because they introduce characters in Justice for All that appear in Trials, Tribula Trials and Tribulations, I can't just skip it. So I will play it, you know. That was fun. Um, so next week will actually be a pretty busy week um, as far as streaming goes. Because huh? uh? I am actually technically on vacation since yesterday or no since today no since yesterday i slept all day yesterday <laughs> yesterday so i'm on vacation for a little bit um so i have the week off and the plan is that this weekend i'll be enjoying hatsune miku for the weekend then when i come back i'm planning to be streaming I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be streaming every single day. I'm like debating about having a schedule out. But I want to say for sure on the 30th. I just learned that Planet Zoo released is going to be releasing like a new free update title update and then a DLC. And the DLC is literally like farm animals. So I was thinking, oh, no. My brain suddenly expanded. Zoo Captain Returns, right. So I'm thinking Planet Zoo game. <laughs> I'm thinking playing a lot of Planet Zoo whenever that drops. And just making like my Harvest Moon dream except in Planet Zoo. And I don't think I'm going to do like a crazy amount. I probably will just introduce all of the, the or just buy the pack. Use all the animals that they introduce in the pack because apparently it's an animal pack. And just pretty much just make a farm. I make the farm of my dreams in Planet Zoo is what it's going to be. I have uh, no plans though. I, I really feel like I should plan it out so that way I have a nice thing. You remember how I did like the Christmas, the Christmas themed zoo and it was kind of cute and small? I kind of want something like that. So that's that's where that's where I'm at with that. I I think April 30th, okay? Now, April 1st and 2nd, I don't know. I I feel like I want to stream something too. Um at least on Thursday, I would like to play more Ace Attorney. So Ace Attorney will be back next Thursday on the 2nd. The third, I have a change of plans. Uh, originally, I was going to stream my birthday up until midnight, but that's not going to happen because uh, a bunch of my coworkers found out when my birthday was. And then I was like, I'm not going to be here, guys. Don't worry about it. And then the one that was like, you are a special child born on a special day, so therefore we must go out. <laughs> I, bro didn't even know when my birthday was, okay? Right, my my other coworker friend that I've been working with for like years already. He he mentions it. He's like, "Where are we going out for your birthday?" And I'm like, "We're going nowhere because I want to stay home on my birthday." And he's like, "No, we we got to go out and eat somewhere." And then other friend, right? My lab tech dude, he looks at me and he's like, "When's your birthday?" And before I could even say no, my my other friend who I've been working with for a while says, let me bring out the memes. And immediately my lab tech's eyes just grow like two saucers big. And he looks at me and he's like, ooh, you special child born on a special day. 
we got to celebrate. And then they roped in this other dude that we usually hang out with uh, at work. So they kind of booked me for the night. They want to eat Korean hot pot at 7 p.m. So I guess I'm doing that. <laughs> um. I don't, at most, I'm probably going to be there like two hours, two and a half hours and come home. I probably will be tired by then. I couldn't escape. Yeah, I really couldn't. And just in case, um, if my family wants to do something that day too, I can't imagine that I will be doing a lot on Friday. If I do stream, I don't even know what I'm going to stream. Maybe, maybe if people want to join, I've been playing a lot of content warning. That's been fun. I would like to play Lethal Company. So maybe something like that. Maybe we could do like a group game. But the real, the real big hoobaloo that I'm doing for myself is on May the 4th. Wow. Because last time I didn't even, I don't even think I celebrated on my actual birthday. But truly, May the 4th is going to be Happy Dose Day, guys. Um... So I'm kind of estimating, assuming that my family doesn't just spring a fast one on me. Let's just say six, seven, seven p.m. ish, like roughly around this time that I started like tonight. We're going to do Happy Dose Day. And that's uh, not I don't think it's going to be too long. <clears throat> I say that and then watch that be like a super long stream. But I work the next day. So anyway. We'll see. It's going to be Happy Dose Day. I have, like, things to show. Honestly, one big thing to show. And then once I show that and then I show off my other, I guess, little surprise, then I'll be like, okay, guys, that's it. That's the party. Woohoo. And then I, I guess we end. <laughs> so it's just really just going to be a whole week of me doing whatever I want, honestly. That whole week, that's my birthday week. Actually, my birthday week has already started, okay? Migu included. Could I have special permission to tie about people when they say, may the force be with you or puns like that for only 10 seconds? Yes, if you figure out how to do that for 10 seconds, please do. <laughs> because the reason why I don't stream on my birthday is because I have people like my lab tech who immediately looks me in the eyes and says, may the fourth be with you. And I'm like, I hate you. I'm going to stab you. And he's just like, oh, you're going to stab me. Like he's never heard me ever sound that aggressive until I said, until he said that. So that's the reason why I don't stream on my birthday. It doesn't give people the opportunity to keep coming in here and being saying silly stuff like that. And <laughs> As, as, as irritated as I might sound, it doesn't actually bug me that much, but it's so funny. It's so funny. It's actually, it kind of does bug me. Just a smidge. You hear it so much. <laughs> you hear it so much and you're just like, ooh, ooh, I could just, I could just throw a Lego under your foot real quick. You know, that kind of feeling. It's possible. <laughs> but yes, um. That's the plan. Kind of. The general gist. But for sure, I want to play Planet Zoo. I want to play Ace Attorney. And I want to do the birthday stream. So, expect me on April 30th, May 2nd, and May the 4th. For sure. All the other days in between, I don't know. If I'm feeling it, because I'm literally going to be bumming around doing whatever I want... And just like wasting away in my room because I haven't really had the opportunity to just be lazy. I mean, yeah, I actually have. But now I could be lazy for several days straight at a time and feel good about myself. <laughs> so that's that's kind of where we're at. Um, okay, yes, lots, lots of things next week. Please look forward to it. I, I definitely want to get into the swing of streaming again. And, you know, try to be consistent with it. Uh, but I am excited to show you guys what I'm working on. What I have been working on for like a month and a half. It's been a lot. It's a lot. <sighs> I can't believe how much work has been gone to it. 
but I'm pretty happy with how, how it's turning out. And then at the last minute, I was like, I could do more things. I don't know if I should do more things, but, you know, ambitions. Ambitious is kind of starting to become my middle name, and I don't know if I like that. <laughs> It'll be a fun week. I know. I can't wait to do to to make my farm in Planet Zoo. <laughs> I, I I oh it has chimkins, it has goats, it has cow, it has a lot of people were upset that there was no rabbits. But whatever. <laughs> whatever i don't even know rabbits it has it has like cute little piggies that aren't like wild boars so i'm excited oh man i really i haven't touched planet zoo in like a while too so it's gonna be a literal hey i'm gonna learn how to ride my bike again for the 10th time kind of kind of stream but okay that's it i'm done um, let's see. Is there anybody that's streaming that we could raid? Back to Twitch. No, I don't want that. Mm. Ooh. I'm so shy, guys. I'm, I'm really shy about, like, trying to reach out to, like, other people. <laughs> <laughs> there is like some streams I'm like mm -mm -mm. that would be cool to share too but they're so bigger and popular and it, I'm shy one day one day we'll get there um but honestly no there's really nobody that I feel like rating at this moment so thank you guys for hanging out with me um it's been good We'll see you guys again next week. Expect me April 30th. Thank you for the fun time. Looking forward to Happy Dose Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy Dose Week. Okay. Good night.